Viewer discretion is advised. It wasn't new, but it hurt just the same. A small child sat at the base of a tree, surrounded by hundreds of children, pointing at him. The child's face was buried in his hands, his body bunched up with the knees held close to the chest. The small child rocked back and forth against the tree. The tree itself was oily black, with thousands of branches reaching far up into a bone-white sky. Small drops of blood leaked down from the tips of the branches to the base of the tree. Then there was a sudden change. In the distance, someone new was approaching. Someone else to judge him? Someone else to laugh at him? Or perhaps someone to finally put him out of his misery? Zero, nine, six. The child looked up at the approaching pair of eyes, hidden behind a mask. It was SCP-049, the Plague Doctor. The children, the tree, and the sky all fell away. They were now in a cold white cell. The creature that used to be a child rocked in the corner, sobbing to itself and shaking. It was all bones and skin, with little muscle under the pale flesh that covered its body. The doctor approached the creature and looked down at it. An authoritative voice boomed from the speakers. Now, deal with him. Good luck. Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today, we bring you a tale from the SCP Foundation. The creature's soft cries reverberated off the walls around the doctor. All loneliness and pain. He walked over to the monster and laid a hand on the top of its head. It stopped crying, and its breathing slowed. The doctor looked perplexed, as if he had expected another reaction. He recovered quickly and looked down at the creature while stroking the top of its head. Child, you do not have to fear me. Please, let me see. With his free hand, the doctor moved the creature's hands from its face. The thing let out a mournful cry as the doctor looked into its eyes. I cannot save you. Fresh tears began to stream down the creature's pale cheeks. But I can help you. Give me another five minutes with that vest, and I'll guarantee that you won't get out of here alive. SCP-682 roared. The doctor looked down mournfully from the observation chamber above the cell. Pest. Pestilence. Plague, he muttered to himself. Dr. Carver walked in, with a folder in hand. Here you go. Info on what went down when we let these two at each other. Just some notes, though. No footage. You'll have to use your imagination. The doctor thanked him with a nod, then proceeded to study the notes as Dr. Carver exited the room. 682 has just swallowed 096. I can see movement in 682's abdomen. X-ray footage shows 096 has begun its attack on 682, frantically scratching from within. 682 roars in agony and rage as the side of its abdomen begins to tear and bleed. 096 is tearing its way out of 682, ripping out its ribs. 682 shows signs of distress, but nothing you would expect from a creature having their ribs pulled out. 096 is working his way towards 682's snout. He's stretching his arms and legs. 096 has broken 682's jaw, severely tearing the tissue around its mouth. 682 is sustaining severe damage from 096. However, it does not seem to be having a major effect on 682. Furthermore, 682 is already regenerating lost tissue. 682 snatches up 096 and begins crushing him. Using both forefeet, 682 rips all the flesh from 096's body, reducing him to a skeleton hanging from his own skin, held by 682. 682 leans over the skeleton of 096 and spews acid over its thrashing bones. 682 flings 096 to the opposite side of the cell. 096 remains dripping with acid as it flails about. 682 slumps and makes no attempts to attack 096. 096 begins to calm slightly and starts crying to itself in the southwest corner. 682 lies still in the north end of the room. 
approximately 85% of its initial mass is absent. Recontainment teams retrieved 096 with relative ease. The doctor closed the folder. It was a grim account of the never-ending battle between two immortal beings. It may never reach a conclusion. The doctor was taken aback by 682's sudden somber tone. I don't know why, but I feel sorry for him. They're human. They locked us in here, experimenting on us, beating us against one another. Humans, the real plague on this earth, the doctor muttered. With this, the doctor pulled a bag from his robes and produced a syringe. He slowly reached out to the trembling creature. You'll feel a slight pinch, but it'll be all right. Trust me. The doctor could feel the creature resisting as he gripped its arm. There was fear in its touch, unlike the tickle monster. As the doctor held the joyful slime, he felt a sense of bliss welling up inside him, something he rarely experienced in the Foundation. I wonder if 096 is capable of feeling such bliss. Dr. Bright stopped writing and turned his attention towards the doctor and 999. Well, you'd be surprised. When 096 breached containment, Lots of people died that day. Our guards opened fire, but it was useless. They were all down mercilessly. Nines, being the curious one, might have followed the sounds of gunfire and screaming. When he found 096, it just went and hugged its leg. Didn't even think twice. Nines tried to stop its rampage. 096 was confused at first, then it turned angry as usual. It unleashed all its rage upon Nines. Poor, poor Nines. He was torn to pieces. Wholly unrecognizable for a moment. Even now, it breaks my heart to recall how I found him. Claw marks and uneven patches on his body. Chunks of spoiled slime everywhere. Nines' regenerative ability simply couldn't keep up with 096's flurry of blows. Oh, how he begged and pleaded at 096's feet, all while enduring its abuse. Yet Nines didn't waver one bit. No matter how much 096 was tearing him apart, Nines just kept going back to it. When we arrived, they were hugging each other, crying their hearts out. However, unlike before, 096 sounded as if it was at peace. I remember on the way back, I was angry at Nines. You stupid slime! Why couldn't you just stay put? Why must you put yourself in dangerous situations? Why must you make me worry? But when Nines looked back at me, I felt grateful. As cliche as it sounds, it's funny how kindness managed to accomplish what guns couldn't. Sounds of shouting and scratching echoed from within the containment cell door. The creature's wails grew louder and more intense. The doctor was trapped in a dilemma. He reflected on his own life. Curing the pestilence was his grand purpose, but here was someone suffering. Was he not a doctor? Was this not his higher calling? For a moment, he saw a glimmer of hope in the creature's eyes, underneath all that hatred, shame, and rage. Perhaps a key to cull the pestilence? The doctor then made his decision. He allowed the creature's head to go limp as he positioned the syringe right on top of its pale arm. With a slight application of pressure, the syringe slipped into the vein to deliver the medicine. Suddenly, the doctor and the creature were beneath the tree. The laughing children were gone. As he drew closer to the creature, he noticed shallow cuts with blood leaking out all across its body. 
He reached into his bag for something to staunch the flow when the creature's head suddenly snapped up to look directly at him. Its eyes were red and swollen, as if it had been crying for hours. The creature slowly stood up, then sprinted at the doctor with its arms outstretched. For a moment, the doctor was taken aback, the creature running into him in full force. It rocked him in place, then embraced him and sobbed into his robes. The doctor shook his head and tried his best to comfort it. The doctor sat down with the creature until security dragged him away. For a little while, the creature rested. For a little while, it was content and loved. Then somehow, it cried even harder. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Have a favorite SCP you want to see on this channel? Leave us your suggestions in the comments down below. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more SCP content, then check out some of our other videos right here. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye!